Take notes, Caesar. I'm gonna teach you how to chase kids into the terror tree. Love it, I love it, I love it! You're like a teacher. A sick, twisted, freaky teacher from a nasty dimension. But I love it! Pay attention! There may be a quiz on this later. Fire away, Professor! The most effective means of forcing the subject into the terror tree is by constant application of terror via barking, biting, and a general frothing at the mouth. Fascinating! And you make learning so much fun! Hey, Eddie! Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling the fun's about to end. Eddie! For a guy with a hot dog, he's in an awful bad mood. I don't believe this! You got it all wrong, Justin. I'm completely innocent. Listen up, Caesar. I'm about to teach you a new lesson about getting out of trouble. It was all Caesar's fault! Wow, I feel smarter already. I'm gonna run away now. There goes the best student I ever had. I'm Eddie McDowell. I'm a dog, and I talk. Woo! I used to be a kid. A bad kid. But then I messed with the wrong guy. Eddie, you have failed as a human. You turned me into a dog. Can you believe this? That freak turned me into a dog. To be a kid again, I have to do 100 good deeds. And the only person who can hear me talk is the last person I picked on. You? Now I'm living with this kid and his family. They love me, but they treat me like a dog. Once upon a time, I was a kid. Better get started on them good deeds, Eddie. Man, ah, that was a good dog. I wish I could say the same about you. Hey, pour some mustard on my head and bite me. You know what your problem is, Eddie? I'm a goody two-shoes geek with no friends. Oh, wait, that's your problem. You could be doing good deeds with all your time and energy, but instead you just waste it. Thanks for the advice, mustard mouth. Clean yourself up, will ya? You're embarrassing me. Here, you know what they say. Cleanliness is next to, uh, dogliness. Hold it. Get out. Canine Training Academy. Volunteer your dog to help police fight crime. You know what this means? Yeah, you just got mustard on my shirt. Well, yeah, but it also means this is what we've been looking for. I'll become a canine cop, and I'll rack up good deeds every day. Tryouts tomorrow. Okay, Eddie, let's go for it. I'm so excited! Police work combines all of my favorite hobbies. Exercise, adventure, and unlimited donuts. This is gonna be awesome. After all the times I've been wanted by the cops, this is the first time I've ever actually wanted them. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of Peking Duck a la Doug Taylor? That was Duck? Well, not exactly. I couldn't find any ducks. So technically, it was Peking Tuna a la Doug Taylor, but... That explains the shooting stomach pains. Hey, I'm just trying to set the mood for our trip to San Francisco. <laughs> okay, whose turn is it to do the dishes? His. Hers. Oh, no it's not. I did them yesterday. No, uh I did breakfast and lunch. No, you did not. What are you talking about? Enough, enough. I just talked to your mom at her business retreat. I told you you guys were getting along fine, okay? Don't make a liar out of me. She started it. No, I uh, did not. Okay, started. okay, okay, okay. I'm warning you both. If you can't get along, you can forget about that trip to San Francisco. Uh, I'll finish with that, Dad. Allow me. No, no, brother dearest. Allow me. A peaceful solution to every problem. Let go, geek. I said I'll take care of it. I was already doing it, freak show. Give it to me. No, give I it to me. I'll take care give it of to me. It. Oh, no. You stay out of my life and I'll stay out of yours. Oh, they were right about the shooting stomach pains. Oh. the other dogs trying out. Stroke me all you want, lady. I'd still rather be back home chewing on a table leg. Hold it. You've got some veal on your chin. My grandpa was a cop dog. 
My daddy was a cop dog. I was going to break the cycle. I, I was going to go to medical school. But no, here I am at cop dog school. You call those pathetic flea bags dogs? Give me a break. When the guy in charge gets a load of me, he'll know I'm his only choice. Come on. Attention! Uh-oh. The he is a she. And a very mean she, too. Eyes front grunts. I should be at home right now, curled up with a good piece of newspaper. I don't want to be a grunt. I want to be an anesthesiologist. Man, they'll let anybody join the force these days. Do not cross me. I should be at home with a big old bowl of liver right now. What's that I smell? Nothing, lady. I was just dreaming about liver. Could it be chicken? No, it's liver. Hey, easy with the shirt. I'm going home. Get the newspaper ready. Hmm, he moves pretty good for a coward. And what about you? Do you have what it takes to make it on the force? No, but I'd make one heck of a good anesthesiologist. Boom! No! That's it. I'm going back to medical school. Hmm, my odds of getting this job have suddenly improved. Looky, it's my old pal Eddie. Come to watch the training, or are you just looking for some free donut? Bingo, baby! Actually, Officer Yvonne, um, ma'am, um, Eddie wants to join up. Him? On the can- ah! <laughs> That's it! Justin, get ready for my next good deed. Fighting the nasty cop lady right in the caboose. Eddie, if you really want to make her mad, prove her wrong. Piece of cake. Does that mean you're going to do it, or you want a piece of cake? Both. You're in for it now, Yvonne. You can only push Eddie McDowd so far. Dog, whatever. I kicked the obstacle course's butt. Well, looks like we found our next canine crime fighter. Yeah. Welcome to the force, Deputy Dogface. Thanks a lot, Captain Calbreath. Look at that. Classic cop banter, and I've only been on the force for a minute. Okay, my doggy cop senses are tingling. Something criminal is definitely going on here. Let's put my police training to use. Step one, dust for prints. Step two, eat leftover dust when case is soft. Come on, Mama, show me what we got. Aha, multiple prints of the terrier variety. Yeah, that was easy. Hey, Eddie, Eddie. Yeah? I did it, I did it. I busted in your backyard just like you taught me in your seminar on busting into backyards. Were you over here this morning? No, no, of course not. Well, why Why would you say something so nuts and peculiar? Because I just dusted for prints and they look like yours. I confess. I did it. It was me. I'm the guy. Relax, Caesar. I don't care. Oh. In that case, let's go play territory. No can do, Caesar. I'm busy fighting crime, keeping the peace, and searching for the perfect glazed donut. Fine, who needs you then? I learned plenty already. I can have fun on my own. Just keep it legal, pal. I'll try, but I'm not making any promises. Poor sap. A three-legged hippo with conjunctivitis could follow this trail. Day one on the force. Let's see what we see. We've entered the park. Everything's normal. Remind me to pick up my dry cleaning. Over and out. Nothing suspicious here. That's because you're not thinking like a criminal. I, however, am. Too dweeby to make trouble. I like mine. Their kind of trouble isn't police business. Something tells me that handbag doesn't match his eyeliner. What are you doing? That's not a suspect! The snatching suspect was last seen entering the park. B-52 
Be on the lookout. Her snatcher. You can KO that APB chief. I have detained the you, suspect. I've got my fangs in the felon over here. With the help of my canine partner. First you nail the agility course, then you bust a perp on your first day. I can't figure you out, mutt. Hey, that's a violation. What can I say? I'm a mystery wrapped inside an enigma stuffed with veal. Hey, kids! I got balloons! I got them of them! <laughs> hey, do you have a balloon seller's permit? Oh, it's you. Ugh. In that case, I'll let the permit thing slide. You done good, Eddie. Have a balloon. I'm down to 89 good deeds! Awesome! Nice balloons, Pooch. So, where did that big guy go? I wanted to check his permit. Whoa, don't mess with him, Yvonne. Trust me, he'll turn you into a dachshund. Hey, honey. Hey, Daddy. You know I haven't heard any fighting since dinner the other night. Of course not. Your little talk really got through to us. Uh, later, Daddy. Homework time. Okay. I'm walking down the hallway, past the dining room, and entering the den. Officer McDowd is on the prowl. Lawbreakers, beware! If you don't have a donut or a bowl of milk, you're going down! Yo, lady, read much off the grass! Busted! Hey, Burface, freeze! That tree is pee protected. I want you to Guess again, Yvonne. Nobody litters on my watch. Yeah, you. That's right, officer. The dreaded self ticket. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Justice reigns! Deputy, I think you've earned yourself a donut. All right! What, no bear claw? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to use a little animal control officer's room. Please, I'm about to eat. Eddie, Eddie, I got six kids trapped in the territory all by myself, and I think the branch is about to stop. That should earn me extra credit. Come on. Negative, Caesar. I'm on the straight and narrow now. Have you lost your mind? You're an outlaw, a desperado, a cold-blooded sociopath with a disturbing but engaging personality. That's all in the past, my felonious friend. Okay. I guess our ragtag band of wild bohemians is down to one. Later. Bye-bye, buddy. Come on, boy. We got a runner. Hold it, Yvonne. He's not a runner. He's a terrier. Man, she can really move in those boots. You gotta hide yourself, Caesar. Think. Think. Where can I blend in? How come none of these bushes are black and white? Where'd he go? Come on out, Caesar. I know you're in there. I can smell the fear. That's not fear. I had beans for lunch. Okay. I guess I'll be going now. <laughs> what a sucker. Did I fake her out or what? I'd go with or what. Gotcha! Yeah! You little bug-eyed mongrel. Ouch. <laughs> Caesar, you're busted. Eddie, I left my tags at home. She's gonna think I'm a stray. Ooh, no tags. That's bad. Come on, you gotta help me, Eddie. Sorry, Caesar, it's officer Eddie, and you're under arrest. Nah, this ain't right. I'm innocent. I was at the movies all night. It wasn't me. It was probably that shifty-eyed beagle. I've been framed. Wow, for all that running, you still smell great. Oh, boy, this is no good. I've only been in here three minutes, and I'm already going stir crazy. I gotta get sprung, or I'll go cuckoo in the cranium. Psst. Eddie, do something! Get me out of here! Or at least get me something good to read. Can't help you, convict. Wah, wah, wah. I'm a little bitty dog and I'm scared. I'm going to punish you to the full extent of the law. If you're not claimed by four, <laughs> you're going down! <laughs> She really enjoys her job. How's my goody goody boy boy? Please, Yvonne. I like the rubbing, but any more baby talk and I'll yak all over your uniform. Witty. Uh oh. Here comes that donut. Such a good little boy, yes you are. What 
do you think, Gwen? My world famous San Francisco crab meat souffle. Mmm, that's good, Daddy. <laughs> hey, get Justin down here. He's a sucker for souffles. Justin! No loud noises or the souffle will fall. Hey, Dad. Nice souffle. Thanks. Crab meat? Exactly. See, Gwen, I. Gwen? I'll get her. Gwen! It's okay, it's okay. It wasn't that loud. It was nice. Let's go. Here. Hold the souffle mold very carefully. I'm going to test it to see if it's done. Justin, pass me one of those knives. Justin? Oh, I'll get him. Justin! Gotcha. Got you two. Now, how come I can't get you two in the same room at the same time? We have conflicting social schedules. Look, I want you guys to get along. I don't mean completely avoid each other. Now shape up or you can forget about the trip this weekend. No way! That is not fair. No, this is all your... No! Gwen, why, you why do you always have to fight with me? Why well, do you always you fight with me? Are you... Heads up, law dog coming through. Oh, man, hey! I just saw Gwen throw a can in the garbage. Failure to recycle is a violation of city statute 37 stroke B. I'll cover. You read her her rights. As much as I like to send Gwen to prison, that's totally nuts. I'll have you know I busted three non-recyclers in the park today. Plus a litter bug, a grass walker, and one couple guilty of excessive smooching. You're getting carried away, Eddie. No, I'm not. I even got another good deed. And you know who turned out to be one of my best callers? Caesar. From next door? Out without his tags. His owners forgot to put them on after bath time. And that's a grade A misdemeanor, baby. But he's your friend. He was my friend. Now he's prisoner number 8658B. Don't worry, though. Yvonne's only going to punish him to the full extent of the law. Don't you know what that means? No idea. Probably just a slap on the paw, right? Full extent of the law means Caesar's going to the room. Oh, man. That's much worse than a slap on the paw. I'm serious. You just turned your back on your friend forever. No. She said he was going down at four. I thought four was nap time. I know you tried to do the right thing, Eddie, but abusing your power to do good is the same as doing bad. You're right. I got totally carried away. The power went right to my shaggy mottled head. We gotta do something. Come on. I really blew it this time. <laughs> Tick tock, Poochie Pie. It's almost four o'clock, and you know what that means. School's out. The football game starts. No, don't tell me. I want to guess. Four o'clock. Does it have something to do with marshmallows? Bark all you want, mutt. <laughs> You'll be quiet soon enough. Okay, okay, so it has something to do with being quiet. Are we going to the library? Great! I love the library. Boy, I hope they have a periodicals room. <laughs> We've got to find Caesar's tags. They've got to be in here somewhere. Wait, over there. Bingo, baby, tags ahoy. Come on, I'll do the breaking, you do the entering. Look at you, as light on your feet as a ballet dancing cat burglar. Got him, let's move. Moving. Get me out of here! Is it four yet? I wish I'd learned to tell time. Ten till four. Close enough. What do you say we take a little walk, buddy? A walk sounds scrumptious. Let's do it! Although I didn't bring my library card. Eh, big deal. So I'll do my reading there. My, my. I've never seen a dog so calm on his way to the room. The room! Hold it! And he warned me about that place. Now, what did he say about it? Does it give you gas? No. That's broccoli. What was the deal about the room? Don't fight it, Mac. 
It's not that bad, really. Don't you trust your old pal, Yvonne? You know, I did until about two seconds ago. Help! Something bad's about to happen. But I can't remember what it is. No, no, I don't want to go to the room. Hey, this is pretty sweet. Comfy bed, some snacks. Man, this place blows the library away. Thanks, Freaky. You really know how to treat a dog, right? I just love that happy look on their faces as they just settle down for the big nap. Ow, my knee, it's all to you, Eddie. Catch! Ice that thing and keep it elevated. Got it. It's Eddie McDowell to the rescue. Ah, oh, this bed is nice. Is this an orthopedic mattress? Because my back has never felt better. I wonder if there's a room service menu around here someplace. Get as comfortable as you like, doggy. I want to see you go with a smile on your face. Oh, no. What are you doing here, Eddie? Never mind that. You're in serious danger, and it's all my fault. It's too late to make nice now. I'm not sharing my comfy bed or ordering you room service. Do you hear a loud buzzing sound? No! Caesar, get these on fast! What the? Dog tags. No! Eddie, the fresh air never smelled so good. Even the air that's not so fresh smells pretty decent. All right, Eddie, way to go! Yep, I saved my old pal Caesar. Eddie, you're my teacher, my guru, and my friend. Just one question. Shoot, why am I wearing a kitty cat collar? Little Miss Muffinhead, who the heck is that? She's a Persian, very sophisticated. My owners just bought her. So, what's the story? Don't ask, Caesar. Just consider yourself incredibly lucky. Okay. Now let's just get out of here before that whack job Yvonne figures out what happened. Sounds like a plan. Let's roll. <sighs> Brother dear, please wash off the soap before you hand me the dishes. <sighs> Only if you actually dry them and stop dripping on my sneakers, sister darling. <gasps> <gasps> This is even more annoying than the fighting. I said no more soap! Quit bossing me around! Okay, guys, you are getting perilously close to blowing your trip to San Francisco this weekend. Now, what's more important? Fighting? Frisco? Huh? <laughs> Note to self, cancel the trip, ground the kids, fix the dishwasher. <laughs>